And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Ezreal. It's going to be our first deck today. Uh, this one's going to be just a deck that's that's pretty solid. We've been seeing more and more people pick this one up and it's looked impressive. And so I wanted to play it here on stream. Um, you know, it, this is like a deck that can be a control deck with Ezreal. But it can also be an aggressive deck with Draven. And, you know, you have, like, some aggressive elements with, like, Zonite Urchin, House Spider, Draven, Sump Dredger. You know, like, you can have, like, a pretty aggressive curve with this. But then also, of course, you can play a good late game with the help of Ezreal. Captain Farron finishes games out incredibly well. Got a couple of those at the top end. Um, how these work pretty well together is that, of course, Draven makes the Spinning Axes, which are going to be zero-cost spells. And when you have your Ezreal leveled up, each spell that you play does one damage to the opponent. So you can play zero cost Spinning Axes to do damage to the opponent. Plus Spinning Axe uh, works well on the Ezreal, buffing up the power on your Elusive as well. <clears throat> and so we have a, a small discard sub-theme in here with you know, Spinning Axe, jur Jury Rig, that kind of stuff. But then, you know, we got all these other things to discard. So like, we can also just create the Spinning Axes and then just discard the spinning axes and get more cards. Um, so we can use that with Zonite Urchin and some Dredger, and we can filter through those spinning axes to get more cards, which is uh, good for an Ezreal deck, of course. Good for any deck, really. All right, but this is our this is our list. Let's go play our five games in ranked. And uh, had a rough day yesterday, but we're going to uh, get it back today. We're playing four good decks today. And I feel pretty good about us ranking up. All right, so Callista as the only champion probably means They Who Endure, which, of course, They Who Endure is very big. Sure, I'll keep this. <clears throat> and that could be problematic to deal with. Thanks, thanks, Dark Dragoon. Okay, so let's... So I'm kind of... I was planning on discarding the Thermogenic Beam. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. So when they change the song, it it makes the noise over on our side. I didn't realize that. All right, Guillotine can take down a Dehunder. Okay. One for one trade. We're both still at five cards. We have an additional mana. Trade four threes. Culling Strike <clears throat> doesn't kill Callista. So don't need it as much. So my hope is to trade four threes, play Ezreal, create a Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot the Ravenous Butcher. But of course, just killing killing all their units is kind of what they want with Ahunder. But we don't have a different option. Other option is those units killing us. Man, Wraithcaller has been missing that allegiance a whole bunch recently. You know, yesterday, we missed all the time with our Wraithcaller. So that means they have a Freljord card on top, which is probably they who endure. So we can fairly assume that this card that they're drawing is they who endure. Osir, good morning. Obviously, this this can backfire. I feel like that they are going to be playing Blighted Caretaker. That's what I feel like they were playing here was Blighted Caretaker. I want to keep that from happening. But of course, that can definitely backfire on me. With them just you know now having these four threes and everything. All right, so we think this, the third card here should be a They Who Endure, and then those two are going to be the same. Same thing there. The 
from the the uh, two mana card. Watch and learn. So we're down to nine. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. So they're passing over to me. I wonder if they pass again. What's that noise? Firing. If they would have passed again, I would have passed as well and not cast that mystic shot and just you know, had them waste all that mana and me save my spell mana. Everyone's a guard. Well, there's the Blighted Caretaker I talked about. So they did have Blighted Caretaker. It's gonna be five. Hmm. So it looks like I'm casting Ravenous Flock for sure, and so that that'll be six. That'll turn Ezreal into being a two-four. Block the two four threes. What you doing? Mystic shot, a three-two. That'll do two damage to them. It's probably okay to block. The The reason why it wouldn't be okay to block would be Black Spear. So maybe we don't need to block with that. It's unlikely that they have Black Spear. You know, like we, we know that they have a They Who Endure. I mean, there's three cards in hand. We know one of them is the Ephemeral Copy. Um... So like, like they have like the ephemeral card from the stalking shadows. They have a they who endure, and there's so there's only one card we don't know about. Oh, I have a backup. I forgot this one was just a. I was thinking this was a regular mystic. Shot. I forgot that one was an Ezreal. Forgot about that. Okay, so I want to do 13 damage to them this turn. Mystic shot this. Okay, so we're going to... If they do have, like, a vengeance or something, you know, I am I am going all in. I could discard the Ravenous Block. I'm not casting that Ravenous Block. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Alright, cool. We should be good. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about having an Endure out because I'm killing them. The chains, they never stop. Firing. There we go. All right, one and And Ezreal is victorious. Oh, yeah. Question is, how do you feel this deck compares to Swain, Ezreal Swain? Ezreal Swain is going to be a more controlling deck. This is going to be a more aggressive deck um, out of the two. So, you know, this one, you definitely care about Nexus damage more in this one. The other, the other version with uh, Swain. Uh, you just you want to keep the board clear more and and try to set up your Leviathan Swain that kind of stuff. This you know you you have a bunch more cheaper units and and Draven you get to be aggressive. Um, Vibram, let's get rid of that rummage. <clears throat> this 
This is kind of rough. Maybe I should have kept that rummage. I could have just discarded the rummage to the urchin. Because I don't really want to discard Mystic Shot. And I don't want to discard Coaling Strike against a Braum deck. I guess I'm just going to pass and see what we draw. Another urchin. I guess we'll discard that and cycle through another urchin. Anything else? <laughs> All right, this is working out. Oh, right, duh, Poros. It's Draven time. It's Draven time. Time for a true display of skill. I wish I had that rummage still. The rummage away spinning axes and mystic shots and stuff like that. I'm kind of thinking they're playing, you know, like if they're playing Braum this turn, I'm going to be calling striking the Braum. Now, where did that one run off to? Got axes, need victims. Ah, uh, control chain's a good one. So I can let Draven die and keep Coaling Strike, or I could use Coaling Strike now. Um, obviously they can have they can have Poro Snack still. That would shut down my. I'm just gonna let Draven die. They got Poro Snacks also. That would shut down the Coaling Strike. Very good troll chant. All right, Ezreal's at one. Hey, that's a good rummage. That works pretty well. Over Enforcer on the scene. Hmm. This is not good. I don't have any. I don't really have an answer to that vi. Yeah, Scar Maiden Reaver is pretty awesome. Especially against a lot of, like, smaller damage-based stuff that we have running around right now. That card is pretty awesome. Let's just kind of see if they have Poros next. I guess they just drew a Poros next. Doesn't look like it was something they had before. I, I definitely want to try to level up Ezreal before we're playing a new Ezreal. You know, like, I don't want to play a new Ezreal in, into this Vi. That could be a clutch card. Alright, four out of six now. Lifesteal. I want to Culling Strike that, but of course I want to save Culling Strike for Braum as well. That's kind of a tough call. This is not good. Nope, no, 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 wrong card. Five out of six. Take heart. The mom's still like a yodel in uniform. I tried. And Braum was the very first card in their hand. Looked like they just like knew I had Coling Strike and, and completely waited for me to play it. Very good intuition.
control chance were awesome. I think this is like this looks just like like the exact list that that I played the other day, the Vibram list. Uh, the you know the give it all poros. It looks like the exact same list. That deck is good. I'm not too sure how I'm supposed to win this. I mean, Captain Fair and Decimates, but that's that's pretty slow. Like, we're probably dead next turn or very close to it. Um, yeah, like, if I just go, like, Ezreal and then try to cast, like, Rummages and, and things like that, our Ezreal's going to die. I guess it's Captain Fair and... So it gives me nine cards, so we can still... Uh, draw a card next turn. Okay, well that card's different. I didn't have Fury of the North in my deck. That's different. So I don't I don't mind using the Fury of the North right there. That's, I think that's better for me than you know Fury of the North on like these elusives and stuff that you know kill me. Obviously they have a full board anyway, so them creating mighty poros isn't a big deal. Oh cool, big off radio, good. I'm glad glad to know that deep deck's going well. Good to know. So this puts me down to four. I can jury rig block the two one. So I go down to six. Because that's because the Vi does five damage. That's five, seven, nine, and then one overwhelm here, ten. Um the only reason why I don't want to do that is because you don't want to have Ezreal in play when I'm casting this stuff. <clears throat> like are they gonna have like a pump spell that does four damage to me? Or can I go to four? Okay, cool. Basically, we we have to we have to kill them before they attack again. I'll give them those puff caps right now. Maybe they draw a puff cap or two. And next turn, okay. Yeah, they're not going to be able to kill me before I attack again, so... <clears throat> or before they attack again, I guess they don't have any removal for Ezreal. Kind of stole that one with how fast Ezreal leveled up. Karma Thresh. So this is one where our Captain Farron's in the late game could come in clutch. But we don't need them immediately. Yeah, they, cha they changed Captain Farron a few, a few months ago. It used to just discard your hand and replace your whole hand with decimates, and you know now it, <clears throat> you know now it just gives you three new decimates. Plus, you still have your whole hand left. Well, the good news is you can only be at 20 life, right? Like, they've drained four, so they should... Like, they would have been at 24, but you can only be at 20. Water changes, but never breaks. Uh. 
All right, we got our first Ezreal level up. See, maybe they play Thresh here, and I thermogen thermogenic beam at the Thresh. <clears throat> yep. That card's good. River shape the land and give it life. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. All right, so you got three. Ooh. So obviously, like the Draven's good for the rummage. It also helps out the Tribe even Probulator, um, but it does put another thing out there if their plan is Ruination. Um, but you know, I'd still have Progress Day, because like if if their plan's Vengeance, right? Like they're gonna Vengeance this thing anyway. I'll go ahead and play this. You know, like there there'd be a turn away from Ruination, and I think would be okay. How do I think Gohard should be nerfed, if at all? Is the question. Um, right I think it costing one mana is really weird when you have Vile Feast and Unspeakable Horror at two mana. I think that it could definitely just cost two mana, like the others. Um, that's one. That's one option. Another option. Uh, yep, there's the Vengeance. Another option is um, maybe it. When you play Go Hard, it just replaces itself, meaning it just puts one copy into the deck instead of putting two copies into the deck. Maybe make it a little bit more difficult to find Go Hard's turn after turn after turn. We each died, then found home. It's not bad. Not bad at all. How much are you doing? Four damage. It's not bad either. So now they're just slam Captain Farron or go Static Shock with Guillotines. I think we're going to do that Static Shock with Guillotines. And I, I was basically debating up, upon dealing a damage to the Tasty Fae Folk or a damage to the Rekindler. Okay, let's see. Am I playing Captain Farron before combat, or am I just attacking? I think I want to just attack. Let's do this. I'm just attacking for three, and they just block with their spider. And our our hand is good. Got axes, need victims. No, we'll play this first. I don't really want to discard the mushroom clouds with Zonite Urchin. I think I'd rather discard Spinning Axe with Urchin. Uh, I don't like seeing another one of those. Those things are pretty annoying. Axes coming right up. I don't want to trade. The thing is, I, I wouldn't really mind a ruination. Like, like look at our, how great our hand is. A ruination is not really even that bad for us. What are you? Like if they would have played it. Strike. We will reform. So I do kind of want to just give them these Mushroom Clouds and have them deal more damage. But of course I was leaving four mana up for... Uh, for Tribe Even Probulator in case of Karma. Yeah. 
Hey, Rad. Who are you? Currents, pull them down. Now I this matchup I I like giving them like I would I would rather discard like ravenous flock to some dredger than discard mushrooms. This matchup like where they're playing a really slow deck that takes a long time I I like just giving them the pop caps, honestly. Um, I I think that and especially like this early instead of just like waiting till we find an Ezreal because we don't you know we don't know exactly how long it's going to be I, I like just giving them those puff caps. Hope this doesn't get denied. Okay. I'm not really sure, Rad. I don't really know what what the tournament scene is gonna look like in this game and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Oh no. If only we beheld a dragon, because that is a summon. Whatever the cost. So if only we beheld a dragon. Alright, so they got a couple more karmas in their deck. That is good. Giving them two blockers. That's pretty good. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Don't mind. I don't like this tasty faith hulk. What a mind. Mystic shot or something. Help the poor. All right, Brad. What's the what's the donation deck there? Tactical nuke Timo. What is that? Who are you? Who are you? Save the, the spell mana. Hey, Zagala. Where there is life, there is hope. So we still have two Ezreals in our deck that we haven't seen yet. I'm doing real good. Yeah, I started the stream today, and um, we had a, a rough record day yesterday, but I think we're going to be doing a lot better today. I like our decks that we're playing. I'm pretty confident in them. Double Haunted Relic? Is that just to get that out of their hands? It's, 
it's definitely a possibility they just want to get that out of their hand because you know planning on playing other uh, other karma stuff and you know it's just a it's a decimate Where are these Ezreals? Where are they at? Of course, get immediately punished for discarding <laughs> that other calling strike. Okay, we have killed two Thresh. And technically, we killed three, but you know, one was a rekindler, so that one. So they have like one more Thresh in their deck. Is my point. Okay. All right, so they're back up to thirteen. So we we have one more Captain Farron and two Ezreal. So out of out of our eight cards. We know those are three of the eight cards. Three very good cards. Okay, there's Ezreal. And yeah, they got a bunch of pop caps. Let's play this. Alright, back to me. Ooh, another chump lump. That's good. What delightful agony we shall inflict. <laughs> Check me out. Don't blink or you miss me. The house spider I'm planning on discarding with, you know, like rummage, get excited, stuff like that. Like that's gonna be a card just to discard. Seven. Put them down to three. I guess this makes more sense to play. Because that gets us two damage. Get targeted. Alright, so they're at four. Make it two. And they have <laughs> they have all these pup gaps. I don't think they can just do 15 damage to me. It just makes the most sense to um, make sure we have, you know, just burst damage with Ezreal. Just let this happen. Discard there, and we are three and zero. Oh. Easy, like my name. Next month, you know, in December, we're gonna have our first in client tournament for Legends of Runeterra. This could be a long one. Let's mulligan these.
not sure exactly what I want to do. I guess I'll just pass as well. Wow. This is a weird hand. Like, Mystic Shot seems like way too good of a card just to discard. But maybe... Maybe we do in this matchup. Maybe we just don't need Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot's are, you know, not very good against either of these champions. That puts nine cards in their hand. No, I don't really have a favorite deck right now. I... Not really. Maybe like Tarek Draven. Like we're gonna play a bunch of Tarek Draven tomorrow for Rank Up Sunday, I think. Oh, and then I guess I I really like. Oh, I, I do like to give it all Poros a bunch. Oh, that that deck. Yeah, I want to play that one tomorrow too. And give it all Poros is really cool. Do you need to level up Ezreal? Rummage. My hand is... Good. That was a good Vile Feast for me. Give me two targets. So keep wanting to have Thermogenic Beam available for Vi. Pulling strike's gonna be for Ezreal. I don't miss. Firing. Kind of assume that they're playing Withering Whale with how they're setting this up. Just in case, I don't, I don't think I, I don't need to. Uh, play these other things right now. All right, cool. And then for Vi. So Ezreal, you are at five. What I'm worried about with Captain Farron is I play Captain Farron, they play Ru Ruination. I'm worried about attack, you know, doing this, and it doesn't really do much damage. Because they just static shock. Okay, are they, they are just playing Withering Whale. If they have, like, another Vi, they could have, like, a, a large enough Vi that challenges the Captain Farron. Like, maybe I don't need to play Captain Farron immediately. It's Draven time. But I guess... I guess that they, you know, Vi and kill my Captain Fair, and that's really not a bad trade for me anyway. Harvey. Cool. Surprise. I don't know, a little surprised they killed that over Draven, right? They could just kill one or the other. A little surprised they chose that one. We're so close to having leveled up Ezreal. Getting a card out of my hand, of course, because we have 10. Wow, so yeah, they could have Thermogenic Beam for 8 with the Captain Farron and chose not to. 
So that tells us vengeance. Most likely. The party has arrived. Most likely vengeance. Not quite finding something to do that last target for Ezreal. Excuse you. There's the vengeance. All right, I think I'm just gonna pass here while they have, you know, tons and tons of more mana. Cause see, I'm just kind of scared of Vi, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm scared of like high static shock. They just like play Vi attack. That's the card I was worried about. All right, this will level up Ezreal, finally. And they only have three cards. All right, so we're back to 10 cards. The Captain Ferrans have been really, really good in this deck. They're just like, getting us those extra decimates to help us finish the games. Okay. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Don't blink, or you miss me. All right, so they're at nine. Firing. Feeling pretty good about this one. I think we should be just fine. How do we want to spend 10 mana? That is true that atrocity, I guess atrocity is kind of a problem, isn't it? Okay, so I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, atrocity is a problem, isn't it? I guess I should I really should have attacked with both of these. This would put them down to two. <clears throat> so they, they know they know about these two mushroom clouds in hand, so they know if they just let the stack resolve, I win the game. That should be us winning the game. Because we should take one, then they take three, then they take three, and so then we win. That's how it should be. Alright, there we go, victory. Ooh, Demacia. 
All right, so we had a question here for why does this deck work so well? And I think it's it's one, the versatility where you can you can play aggressive, like some hands you can be aggressive, but you can also be control. Like you can, you can kind of do everything. But then two, it is it finishes the game very effectively. Ezreal is hard to interact with and Ezreal with a bunch of spells with the Nexus damage that this deck has, it, it can finish games very effectively. I like all these cards. Now the thing I'm, I'm worried that Static Shock won't actually kill stuff. Maybe Static Shock with House Spider. I think this is actually a pretty decent hand. I don't want to see Rangers Resolve. Um, I don't really want to see anything that's tough. Like the two mana, two, two tough. Uh, we have removal for the Battlesmith. Is that the name of the card? Um, you know, that card right away. Because you got to kill that thing immediately. The yeah, Battlesmith. Got to kill that thing immediately. And we have the, the ability to do that. Alright, so just one extra mana. I think I can play the House Spider first and then Thermogenic Beam this thing. I think we're good there. Ooh. The party has arrived. Let's go Draven. You know, like we're post that kills my Draven. They can still get this, like, you know, it's still Demacia. Like, they can play a bunch of, you know, like good size, big Demacia things, like a bunch of Garens and stuff like that. And, and you know, they have like the For the Fallen card. Like, this this game is not over. They, we started well by killing the two Battlesmiths, but still, um, they have some really good cards still. Really hope this works. Please, no Rages Resolve. Okay, good. The one problem with that is that did take my card to kill a Garen. So, Ezreal, you are at four. You know, because I wanted to be able to, like, damage a Garen and then Scorched Earth it. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Do you th still think it's over? Hey, buddy, what you doing? Gave my all. Four out of six. Ooh. I love that draw. That is a very good draw. Oh no. Ugh. I hate that. One shot, all skill. Ooh, that's got hurt. Yeah, this is why Mono Demasi can be good. So I think I'm gonna play Culling Strike right now. Charge. I'm like a Bannerman. I guess I'm gonna scorched earth. Yeah, I guess I kinda have to. Obstacle meet gauntlet. I 
don't even know if I really like this block, but <clears throat> I do have progress day. And of course I have this tribe even probably later. Ho hopefully they don't kill my Ezreal. Take my Which I probably should have had I probably should have had those sw switched. <laughs> I should probably should have rather swapped the two health. I uh, didn't get punished. Come on. <laughs> Card's so good. Stop. That's alright, we gotta try beam properly later. I don't miss. Obviously my worst case scenario is them having the sharp sight and be able to block an elusive. <clears throat> Not the worst case scenario. Uh let's see if I play this. No, I don't have time to play this this turn. Okay, so that's just gonna happen. I like that rally. That rally's not that good of a card. Oh no, are you kidding me? It's like the worst four drop of all time. That is the worst four drop. I was definitely counting on my four four mana card to be able to have three power. I was certainly counting on that. Like if if our four mana card just had three power, obviously it would have been just fine. So now we're going to have to top deck a removal spell between our draw step and our progress day. Damn, that was a very unlucky tribe even probably later. Finally. <laughs> that was close. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I'm just gonna pass. Today we turn the tide of war. My journey continues. Time for a true display of skill. Ooh, that was close. But I think we got this from here. I didn't really do the math if, if uh, playing Draven Sounds dangerous. I'm in. <clears throat> makes sense, or if I could have just killed them From my homeland. without playing it. You know, if I didn't it's spend the mana, this three mana here. My story ends. It's probably fine, though. So they're at nine, so this puts them to six. This puts them to three. And then we have spinning axes and mushroom clouds and all that kind of stuff that kills them. So. Cool. Firing. No, didn't play around the top deck sharp sight. Nope. We, cause, cause they're like out of cards. I still would, you know, be able to draw a card with static shock, draw another card with Zonite Urchin, and then the Draven, you know, would have killed something. We would have been fine still. That was close. Got that last card was that Mystic shot though. So five and oh. Okay. Yeah, this deck's really, really solid. I, I like this more than the Swain version. You know, I like how you just get to be a little aggressive and, and you'll have a better early game. Um, and I think the top end is is still really powerful, just like how Leviathan Swain's really powerful and Captain Farron is super powerful. Draven was just awesome for us in those games. Draven is one of the most underrated champions. For sure, like those spinning axes were just clutch of, you know, just discarding spinning axes and getting more cards. And so we were just uh, out grinding our opponent. But then also, you know, 3-3 three, three quick attack. That's really difficult to deal with. Um, yeah, Draven's really, really good. I would not say the Swain version is bad. I would not say that. 
Draven's the meta best champ. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could, I could kind of see that. Like, yeah, Draven's awesome. This cards are really, really good. All right, so there we go. Uh, you know, like we had we had kind of a rough day yesterday, but we're we're playing some better decks today. And we see that Draven Ezreal. This is, um, you know, a good quality deck. If you want want a good rank up deck, you like playing Ezreal. Uh, give this version a try. All right, but anyway, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Draven Ezreal, and I'll see you for the next video.